Hi, I'm Miss Marilyn. Today's craft is something that is easy and fun and comes out pretty cool. We're going to be making safety pin bracelets. Now, this craft only needs a few supplies. You need safety pins, medium size, a pair of scissors, something to measure, a ruler, seamstress tape, elastic cord or elastic thread. I'm using elastic cord. Um, you can find this it, at, in any craft store or craft apartment in the jewelry making aisle. And of course, beads. For this craft, I use wooden beads. I like the look of wooden beads, but you can use whatever beads you'd like. So let's get started on today's craft. For this craft, I'm using about 52 safety pins. 26 will have beads, 26 with won't have any beads at all. Um, now the beads are various sizes, so some of the safety pins will have three beads, some will have four. Depends on the size of the beads that are in each safety pin. And you want some variation as you put it together. As you create your beaded safety pins, um, you want to lay it out in the pattern that you wish your bracelet to be in. Um, very, it's nice to have various colors and shapes and sizes. The uh, elastic cord that I used, I measured my wrist, which was about eight inches, and then I cut um, a little bit longer than that, so we have about 12 inches for each. You need two of them. Um, we're gonna start with a beaded, safety pin so you thread it through the top and you thread it to th through the bottom. Like so. And then you want to just tie a loose um, knot to keep everything in place while you're threading each safety pin. So um, you'll untie this at the end but this is just to keep everything on the on the cord. Now we have a beaded pin, so we now will put an unbeaded pin, but we will put it opposite way. So the head will be facing down. Um, again, we thread it through, through the bottom and this is a time consuming part and then we thread through the top. So, one beaded safety pin, one unbeaded safety pin, and that unbeaded one will be upside down or the opposite of the beaded one. And since we started with a beaded safety pin, we'll end with a safety pin without any beads. So let's get that through there. All right. This is what our bracelet's looking like. Now we're gonna untie that temporary tie at the end. There you go. And we're going to flip it over, flip the whole bracelet over, and then we're going to tie our strings together as tight as we can the elastic cord can come loose um, if it's not tied really tightly. So I'm gonna put multiple knots in here to help keep it tied together. I do the second, second set as well. Like I said, tie it really good. You may want to do like four or five knots and go as tight as you can since the elastic cord can get loose. All right, our bracelet is about done. This is our bracelet. 
um, it should fit. It's elastic, so it'll give a little bit as I put it over my hand. And um, once you know that it's tight enough, you could trim off the excess um, cord. And there you go. We have our safety pin bracelet.